Okay, so what I have right now here is uh, the basically a prototype of the, the Iron Man's phone from uh, Iron Man 2, I believe. The see through looking phone. Um, so what I have here is just the uh, it shoots the repulsor sound and then mission list. I believe your intentions to be hostile. Okay, battery. And then uh, do system check. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. Systems are now fully operational. And it's pulling in the uh, obviously the live date and time. And you know, current uh, the temperature of the CPU, memory usage, the number of process that's running on the server, and the trays. Uh, if I were to click on the phone number of a process for it to run, um, I can actually start dialing seven seven three zero 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 zero, and then I just hit call. And then I should open up the phone, as it should, and then, uh, yeah, if I just close it out, and then if I hit the envelope button, it'll... Good afternoon. Weather right now is 75 and 90% cloudy, with humidity 83%. Here are some top news stories. A great honor in a bid for history, Trump. Yeah, so it's using the uh, Google... Um, text-to-speech as well as um, you know pulling in the most recent news from Google's database and yeah if you guys are interested in knowing how this is done I'm gonna be adding more functionality to all these buttons uh, if there's more interest of people um, adding on to this so yeah let me know comment below I guess and uh, yeah subscribe if you can thank you Okay, so a little bit of information about what's uh, what's going on. Uh, basically, like I've mentioned, that this, uh, this thing is running on its own local server, which is Kali Linux. And if I were to, uh, um, it's kind of hard to type with the. You can see that it's a Kali Linux, the 2018 February version, and everything is running here. Um, I should be able to have all the access to anything that you can basically run on Kali Linux, sniffing networks, so or you know, um, Bluetooth attacks, etc. Um, would not recommend doing that, but just saying it's possible. So you can see that the the current server is running with quad core, two gigs of memory. And it should be enough to um, I just turn off my Bluetooth. Should be enough to um, run some sort of um, AI type of situation here that I can take that I can send some audio uh, commands from this to, and then I'll be receiving it over here at the server end and take that voice to a text and submit that text. Uh, post that text to my API and then you know respond back with Google text to speech so but currently the uh, the temperature and then the the memory usage uh, the number of processes are coming from the script here uh, from data.php so like I said this is running on lamp stack or I mentioned in the description and this is not a clean code whatsoever but it's just a prototype like I've mentioned so and you can basically run anything um, I'm gonna be attempting to trying to uh, teach or uh, train the uh, deep neural networks on my computer and then try to bring it over to uh, to the to the phone see if it can handle any of that process but I believe it should be able to, but it's just probably going to be a little bit slower than expected. Um, but yeah, this is how it's set up right now. Um, if there's any questions or suggestions, please do let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.